tail. I'm going to take down those wizards at Hogwarts. I'm going to need your help. Yeah. You spent some time with those mudbloods when you were a rat. What do I need to do to take them down? Well, my lord, I will need to set up seven altars. I will also need seven bulls and seven rams to barbecue, I mean, sacrifice. So, once we sacrifice them, I will need to go off alone to see what Dumbledore has planned. Okay, I will build these altars for you to make sacrifice. But don't you forget, I am in charge. Yes, master. <laughs> I wonder what Dumbledore's up to. Go back to Voldemort and deliver my message. Well, well, what did you find out? <coughs> you better have gotten some juicy details on how I can defeat those wannabe wizards. Voldemort told me, come with me and let <coughs> Destroy the wizards who won't obey my com every command. But how can I go against Dumbledore? And I see the Hogwarts students all around, and they are awesome. I want to be just like them. What incarnation is going on? You idiot! <laughs> Find how to destroy them, and you come back wanting to be their BFFs. <laughs> oh. Let's try this again, but from a different place. Maybe if you can see those little wizards, you won't see them as good, you won't be so weak. We'll build seven more altars and sacrifice seven more bulls and rams. <laughs> you little minion. Tell me the goods on those twerps this time. <laughs> Listen to me, O oh <laughs> Lord of Darkness. Dumbledore is the coolest. He does all the best magic. He told me to be nice to the kids at Hogwarts, and so I was nice to them. Nothing bad is ever going to happen to them as long as Dumbledore the Great is with them. He's better than Superman. Are you kidding me? Not only did you not destroy them, but you were nice to them. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> 